I'm like, uh, like you, I don't really need these, but I want to uh, thank you all for giving me the opportunity to be here today to say a few words and to introduce myself and my candidacy. My name is Gary Hall, and I'm a Republican candidate uh, running for the 8th District U.S. House of Representatives. I'm a Vincennes native, lived in Knox County all my life. I have served two terms on the Vincennes City Council, and I have been a uh, business owner for approximately 25 years. I presently chair the board of the Mid American Air Center and the Vincennes Utility Services Board. And I proudly served my country as a Marine, as a combat tank commander in Vietnam. And I'm right. I'm running for Congress quite simply because this country is in serious trouble. We have precious little time to get it right. And Congress is the problem, make no mistake about it. Congress continues to pillage our treasury. These are the men and women that write all the laws, pass all the budgets, and write the tax code that governs our everyday existence. You know, when I decided to run, I, I made the decision to run on the issues that are facing our nation, to talk about what I believe in and my pledge of putting America first in every decision that I face in Congress. This partisan gridlock that we've got in Washington, D.C. has polarized our federal government and nothing is getting done while the clock is ticking toward imminent financial collapse. 2012, in my opinion, will be the most important election of our lifetime. All 435 members of the House of Representatives, one-third of the Senate, Presidency of the United States, the government or governorship of Indiana, as well as state and county and city municipal and legislator elections. It's time to clean house, pun intended. Tonight I want to uh, touch uh, on five issues of my Putting America First campaign issues that I believe are some of the most pressing issues facing our nation. And together, we can take this country back. The government of the people, by the people, and for the people has been seriously eroded by Congress pandering to an oppressive bureaucracy. With the Constitution as my GPS, I will allow it to guide me in every decision I make in Congress. I will make every effort to reduce the enormous size of the federal government and our crushing national debt. At $15 trillion and climbing, the ills and the fate that we have seen in Europe and Greece and Italy can happen here. And Congress doesn't see to get the message, and Congress is that problem. We have all the hype and things that go with the presidential election with the uh, debates and all, and in my campaign experience of uh, working in the 8th District, nobody, with the possible exception of this group in the room this evening, talk anything about the congressional election. It's almost as if it gets a free pass and believe me, it's Congress that gets in your pocket a lot faster than any president that's elected. I will do everything in my power as your congressman to stop the stifling government regulation in our commerce and our private lives. I will repeal the laws that have eroded our individual freedoms. You know, they talk about uh, the president making jobs or uh, government making jobs. The government only makes other jobs. Those government jobs do not produce manufacturing and business concerns and services. The government can provide incentives to 
to make a friendly atmosphere to encourage country or companies to again manufacture on our shores. We check everything here today on our clothing. We would probably be hard pressed to find anything that says made in the USA. A little different than World War II when the country came together and made America's generation, America's greatest generation to fight and end World War II in only four short years. We don't have the manufacturing ability to do that type of thing again. And we must restore that in America. I want to stop the illegal immigration by securing our borders and removing the benefits and incentives that are paid to all of the illegals that last count I heard of approximately 20 million inside our borders. And whatever law was written that gives the by virtue of birth on our soil, what's called an anchor baby, to provide welfare benefits to that child, the uh, parents of illegals. You know, immigration, of course, has been the foundation of America. It's the melting pot. It always has worked, but it's called legal immigration. Legal immigration was by those that came from other nations of the world because they wanted to be in the United States and they wanted to assimilate as an American and be a part of this melting pot because it was the bastion of freedom and a beacon of hope throughout the world. And we can't be again. Whatever legislation that I could help with or pass I would want to make America energy independent by utilizing our own vast natural resources. Start drilling offshore again. And the Arctic National Wildlife Refuge has the largest single oil deposit ever discovered on the North American continent, 70 short miles from Prudhoe Bay. We've proven we can be good stewards of the environment, have all the benefits of the use of our resources for mankind, while sharing friendly with the environment and the wildlife and the wilderness. It's a natural extension to uh, put the pipeline from Anwar to Prudhoe Bay, which the Alaskan pipeline is now pumping approximately one-third of its uh, intended size because it's near completion. And last but not certainly not least is I would do everything in my power to never see the Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act that we'll ever see in light of day as our, our way of the land and uh, socialized health care. Most of you don't know me personally, but 
I consider myself a doer. Uh, whenever I accept a job, whenever I do a job, I put everything I've got into doing that job to the best of my ability. And Congress would be exactly the same thing. My campaign is directly to the grassroots, you know, the real people of the 8th District. The ones that do all the work, raising their families and paying taxes. I have no axe to grind, and I have no representation of special interest groups, except for the unswerving will to make America great. 